Hello all, welcome to Awesome Style. This is once again Awesome Style with a new video. Hope you all enjoy my videos. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed yet. And all the lovely subscribers, stay tuned. Please try to press the bell button after you subscribe to my channel to get an instant notification. Hope you This video is about 5 minutes kids stories. Let's know some benefits of reading books for adults and kids too. Today we are going to be reading 5 minute stories. It is fun listening to these amazing stories. Um, Goldilocks and the Three Bears Once upon a time there was a little girl named Goldilocks who had beautiful golden hair. She lived in a pretty has right at the edge of the forest. Each morning she liked to play outside before breakfast, gathering flowers and looking at the animals who lived in the trees. One day she strayed then farther than usual. She skipped happily along the forest path, chasing butterflies until she was far from home and very hungry. Just as so she was thinking that it would take a long time to walk back for breakfast, a delicious smell wafted through the woods. She followed it all the way to a little cottage. Uh, I wonder who lives here, Goldilocks said to herself. Perhaps they would share their breakfast with me. She knocked on the door, but there was no answer. As Goldilocks pushed gently on the door, it swung open. The, the house inside was cozy and inviting. Even though she knew that she shouldn't, Goldilocks stepped inside. The delicious smell was coming from three bowls of steaming porridge on the table. There was a great big bowl, a middle-sized bowl, and a teeny tiny bowl. Goldilocks was so hungry that even though she shouldn't, she tasted the porridge in the biggest bowl. Ew, she cried. This is too hot. Next, she tasted the porridge in the middle side of the bowl. Yuck, she said. This porridge is far too cold. So finally, she tried the porridge in the teeny tiny bowl. Yum. Goldilocks said this porridge is just right. As she ate it all up with her tummy nice and full, Goldilocks decided to rest before she set out for home. She looked around the room for somewhere to sit. There were three chairs, a great big chair, a middle-sized chair, and a teeny tiny chair. Start. She climbed onto the great big chair. This chair is far too high, she said. Next, she tried a middle-sized chair, but she sank deep into the cushions. No, she said, this chair is far too squishy. So she sat on the teeny tiny chair. This chair is just right. She said, settling down, but Goldilocks was very full of pores and too heavy for the teeny tiny chair. It squeaked and creaked, it creaked and cracked, then crash! It broke into teeny tiny pieces, and Goldilocks fell to the floor. Well, that wasn't a very good chair, she said grumpily, then even though she shouldn't, she knew she shouldn't, she went to look upstairs in the bedroom where three beds, a great big bed, a middle-sized bed, and a teeny tiny bed. She tried to lie down in the great big bed, but it wasn't at all comfy. This bed is too hard and lumpy, she grumbled. Then Goldilocks lay in the middle-sized bed, but that was no better. This bed is too soft and squishy, she mumbled. So at last she snuggled down in the teeny tiny bed. This bed is just right.
right, she said and fell fast asleep. Now whenever there is a house with porridge and tears and beds, there is usually someone who lives there and that was true of this house. Three big brown brains lived there. There, a great big daddy bear, a middle-sized mommy bear, and a teeny tiny baby bear. The three bears had made their porridge and gone out for a walk in the woods while it cooled out. At last, they went home for their breakfast. Why is the door open, daddy bear said in his deep, gruff voice. What? Why are there football spirits on the floor, mommy bear said in her summer. Baby bear said nothing. Hmm. They went over to the table and Daddy Bear looked in his bowl. Someone has been eating my porridge, he growled. Mommy Bear looked in her bowl. Someone has been eating it. My porridge, she exclaimed. Baby Bear looked in his bowl. Someone has been eating my porridge and they have eaten it all up. He cried in his teeny tiny voice. Daddy Bear stomped over her to his chair. Someone has been sitting in my chair, he growled. There's a long hair on it. Someone's been sitting in my chair, baby, Mommy Bear exclaimed. The cushions are all squashed. Baby Bear looked at his chair. Someone has been sitting in my chair, he said. And they've broken it into pieces. Let's get to the bottom of this. Let's get to the bottom of this, Daddy Bear growled. And they abatted upstairs to the bedroom. Daddy Bear saw them and pulled covers all of his bed. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, he grumbled. Mommy Bear saw the jumbled pillows on her bed. Someone has been sleeping in my bed, she said. <laughs> Baby Bear padded up to his bed. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, and they're still here, he cried. The three bears crowded around the sleeping girl. Baby bear reached out a fuzzy paw to touch her golden curls. Goldilon opened her eyes. Imagine her surprise when she saw three bears peering down at her. She leapt out of the bed, ran down the stairs, through the door, along the pad, and all the way home. And she never visited the house of the three bears again. The end. Moral of this story is never enter anybody's house without their permission. Hope you all learned something from the moral of this story. Thanks for listening to this story. Bye.